Hey guys, today I'm reviewing my Feel Free Lure 13.5 kayak. I've been using this kayak all throughout the past summer, so I've fished a lot of tournaments, fished a lot of this thing, and I've got to say there's a few things I really love about this kayak, a lot of things I really like about it, and there's a few things I don't like quite as much. So let's get into it. So obviously the most important part of any kayak is the whole design. And you know, this is a big kayak. This is one thing you have to consider. 13 and a half feet long, you're going with 34 inches wide, it's rotomolded plastic, so that means you have a very hard, durable design. Like, you can't, it doesn't flex easily, but it does come with the downside. This kayak is really, really heavy. I mean, you're talking about well over, I think it's 107. Before you count the seat, before you count any of your accessories, anything else you may have on it, you know, every little thing adds weight, and that is something you have to consider. But that's, you know, part of the premium kayak game is you're done with the higher quality, stronger materials are heavier. So as far as the whole design goes, you know, it's a nice wide, very stable hole. Um, really, really nice in the water. You'll see what they did with the whole design here is you've got kind of twin cat design almost with a center kill. And what that gives you is something that's both very, very stable in the water. You don't get a lot of movement, um, like side to side rock, but it also tracks well you don't have to worry about it you're constantly spending one side or the other as you're paddling so that is something really really nice about that there's also one feature back here that feel free is known for is their in their um wheel in the skeg here so the, that actually helps it seems like kind of a gimmick but this is actually amazing when you're moving your kayak because it's wide enough that has a good center of balance and when you just pick up on the front end of that kayak List the back up, you can just roll it on the wheel. And that keeps you from um, shredding up the back end of your kayak while you're moving it and just takes a lot of the weight off. Seems like a gimmick, like I said, but it actually is super nice when moving the kayak. Um, you see back here, this tank well, you've got a really large base. This is like probably three and a half feet back here. I haven't measured it, but got some depth to it. Um, a lot of room back here, molded in cup holders on the sides. All the handles, this is something I really love, is are these molded in handles. You don't have to worry about them breaking or stretching. Very solid, you know, molded into the design. The bow handles the same way. So, you know, they've got it on all four handles, all molded in. That's a really nice feature. You've got a wide deck out here. Uh, they all come standard with these mats, which is really nice, kind of the C deck material. Uh, and one thing you'll see up here, moving on to some of the more in-depth designs on the whole is you have this front cooler here you know these two little latches pop it up and it's an, uh, molded in kind of it's designed to be a cooler you know you've got a gasket that runs to seal it off that I found works pretty well a little drain here to take the water out you know it's designed to be a cooler i never used it for that i always just um, tackle storage because that's a really nice place i throw my plastics in there tools extra leader line etc you know those type of things the hinge works really well i didn't have any issues with it breaking off or anything this is a solid material kind of a cutting material cutting board material here is what they went with um so they're cool little bonefish design pretty neat these latches there flip in here and they lock you'll see it's a two step they go in here just push them down and that helps put some pressure on them to keep them watertight i found they're pretty easy to use um you know that you don't have to finagle them a whole lot to get them to latch in so moving up this way you've got your front bow hatch they do three locks on this to try to keep it sealed turn them all i will one thing i'm not a huge fan of is just the design it's kind of hard to see when you're dealing with it locked or unlocked but you open that up here and um, you'll see my gasket's coming off a little bit. I probably need to glue that back in just to make sure I keep the front of my kayak watertight. I'm gonna take care of that. But um, you've got opening to the back of your kayak underneath here. You can't really get something really large there because it does have the support in this kayak, um, the cooler here. But you have a fairly good bit of room here just for whatever um, larger amount of storage you need inside your kayak hole or access to that. They lash down and you know when your seal is not coming off like mine when you don't neglect it it does stay pretty watertight i found it, it's a pretty good seal their handles just aren't the the latches they're not the most intuitive you know sometimes i have to like okay there's it locked unlocked it says it here in writing but you know it doesn't stand out a whole lot so uh, it's one thing would be nice if they were um kind of like an arrow shaped or something that made it a little more intuitive you know when you're out there fishing or just trying to do something quick that does help Moving on to the seat design, this is one thing that Feel Free um, is known for is their, this is their gravity seat. What they call this here is you have a easy 
adjustment. Um, so it's a big seat, pretty heavy. I mean, this seat's like 25 or 30 pounds. It's got some nice padding here. I'm gonna not gonna lie, it's not as comfortable as it looks. It looks like you're like super nice. It's okay, but especially with it being the low back here, which they do have a high back upgrade, you'll start to feel it after, I don't know, about five to six hours. It starts to get a little uncomfortable. You're gonna wanna like stand up and stretch or just get off of it for a minute, which I mean, it's, it's a kayak seat. So you kind of have to expect that. So what you'll see is this gravity seat. How this works is you've got your handle here. You just pull that up and you just lift your kayak, you pull your handle and you have a height adjustment just like that. Pull it up, hold it up, stays there. You can lower it back down flat or all the way up to there so you can see that's mounted pretty high and this is nice because you know you have a better center of gravity with your seat down lower when you're fishing um but that also is not quite as great as position for fishing or i put gear in because what i can do is lift this thing up to the top here and i've got all this storage underneath my seat because i have tackle trays i'll slide my catch tray under there usually when fishing um you know i fish inshore a lot my deal with some waves boat wakes whatever i usually keep it about halfway that works well you'll see they've got little cup holders on or not cup holders little pockets on the side here throw your tools in and a little slot that it kind of will you know as you go down to the lower size there's still room to put it here in the slot like you can still put stuff in there even if you're on the bottom position all right so another really cool thing here is their electronics pod this is one thing i really love about this kayak is their design with this so you can see it's a standalone pod here i can mount your whatever electronics got a little garment on here and how it works is all self-contained you can pop open your pod run your wires and your battery put your battery in there and run your transducer straight up to the bottom you know it works the same type of latches they use on their other um you know, that front cooler there clip it in and the whole pod moves out so you can just latch it and lift it up and you know you to move your battery or whatever pull the whole thing out like that and another thing this is good for is because your transducer all self-contained you don't have to do with any wires anywhere else but actually the slot here your transducer goes down in it you lock your electronics in and it keeps your transducer protected so you can't hit that up against the bottom anywhere right? and you don't have to deal with you know scraping anything getting it caught on a stick it keeps it up protected inside your hole which is really really nice to have um it's a nice feature you've got two flush mounted rod holders on each side they come with little rod leashes already which are kind of neat little bungees they're mounted into the rod here i mean this kayak's a few years old now and they're not rotted out which is nice you know it'd be dumb to just have them you know broken off there but it is nice to have if you're ever paddling somewhere that you feel like you might be in danger of tipping over your kayak or maybe losing gear, whatever. Um, another thing I really like, cool feature you don't see me have is they have straps built in to either strap in a cooler or a crate. So they've got two straps that give you a lot of stability. Both of them just lash into each other and you can tighten down whatever you have there. So I've got a crate set up with rod holders, my kayak crate, rod holders, my tackle trays go in there. I've got everything set up and I can strap it down and have it really secure there. It's a great feature. In the back, you know, another molded handle and also a soft one in case you need a different angle. I also have a little motor bracket on here that was on there when I got it. I haven't used that for anything just because I don't use the motor. So you've got a little track rail here that you can mount any accessories. I've got just little cleats in there for tying up my anchor or whatever. Um, they have a lot of different things you can get that fit into there. Your foot braces here, they've got a cool design on this to make them easily adjustable because you have to adjust it based on your seat height. This is just this little strap here and you can pull it back and move it forward just by lifting it and when you drop it down it locks them so they don't go anywhere and these are pretty pretty well made like they're they're not they got a little flex but they're not overly like flimsy i'm not never been afraid of breaking them off but it's super easy to adjust in the seat you know you can just lift it move it back or forth that's not a huge problem the scuppers they come or at least mine did i bought mine used but you can get little scupper plugs that fit in there pretty easily if you want to keep your deck dry in the water you know I keep the ones underneath my seat. It's got eight sets on the deck here. I keep the front ones plugged where my feet are underneath my seat. Let the water drain out through that way. And like I said, this decking is really nice for being able to stand on, keep your feet from getting hot. And um, also, if you get any like fish slime, because it's gripped and textured, it helps keep it from um, like you getting really slippery in a couple areas. You know, after a lot of use, it's kind of worn off a little bit to where it's more flat, but not not in. Not terribly so anyways. And uh, 
So yeah, here you've also got your paddle, molded in paddle holders on the side. So you put your paddle in here, lash it over there, drop zone, super easy, keeps your paddle out of the way whenever you're not using, if you're anchored or fishing somewhere, you want your paddle out of the way, super easy to just drop it in. And it has those on both sides. So one other thing I do want to point out is my kayak is the V1. Feel free release recently came out with their version two V2, which they made a few changes. They added some little rod tip protectors up about where this little disc is here. Changed the hatch design and made it the lid cover. I mean, the interior is about the same, the lid design it's just a little bit different i think it's meant to shed water better but you know you lose your cool design so and um the foot braces they made them instead of a lift and slide they're a twist and slide deleted these back cup holders here and lifted or not lifted but um they come standard with the high backrest instead of the low rest that on the gravity seat but those are the only changes nothing really major just some slight um convenience changes except for the seat that is a really great upgrade that i wish mine had um which you can get that separate i just didn't so anyways that's that's about everything and i covered it all Alrighty, so that's a breakdown of all the features and different aspects of the kayak. As far as your pros and cons go, really the only major con that I've um, seen and dealt with was just the overall weight of this kayak. And it's kind of a trade-off, you know, you have a very stable design, but it also that comes with having a lot of extra material and adding weight and water resistance. So, you know, it's big, you got a lot of space, it's stable, and it's heavy, so this thing weighs, you know, 130, 140 pounds, you know, with just the base, you know, seat and your electronics box here. Once you add accessories, you're dealing with more than that, and you can easily have some a kayak that's, you know, 180 or 190 pounds in the water, and that's a lot to paddle. You know, if you put a motor on it, it would be incredible. It's just a lot to move on land. It's, it's not terrible, like you can do it, but if you're planning on trying to paddle, you know, 10, anything more than like eight miles a day really you know i've paddled up to 15 in it in one day and, and that's a lot so really i if you're fishing slower moving bodies of water or you know marshes ponds the back ends of lakes swamps all that it's incredible if you're planning on doing like really long distance stuff i would probably look at a different design but other than that um i don't have any other thing else that i dislike about this kayak i've been really impressed you get like everything is very high quality premium level kayak and it's really at the price compared to some of their competitors a really really great deal so all right guys that's it i hope that answered any questions you may have had and you learned something from this video if you have any more questions just leave them in the comments below i'll get to them if you did learn something from this video you guys please help me out hit those like and subscribe buttons and check out some of the other awesome content i've got on the channel i hope to see you guys again soon